previously. In the last video I wanted to check if Forex latency arbitrage is working and I didn't want to pay hundreds of dollars for third party software, so I decided to make my own software from scratch. First, I created a Trello board, I listed all the tasks that were necessary to make it work, I created a simple C-sharp live chart with live CPU usage data, I managed to connect to MT4 quotes, after that I made my chart to fit MT4 quotes and we ended up here. What's up guys, if you're new, welcome on this channel where we do stuff related to forex trading and machine learning. My name is Mike and I am a software engineer and if you already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. So as you can see, my hair got a little bit longer as all the barbers are closed due to coronavirus outbreak. And anyway, in this video I will give you an update on how the work is going with the latency arbitrage software, so sit relaxed and enjoy. Okay, so after getting quotes from MT4, our slow broker, I needed to get quote stream from the fast broker. And of course, the industry standard is the Fix protocol, so I had to integrate my software with Fix messages. There is a very little documentation and project examples with Fix that are actually working after you download them. So the beginnings were messy, very messy. But finally, I managed to create a connection with Fix server, send messages to the server, and the most important thing for our case, I managed to listen to the peak stream from the server. And of course, all of this was done in C-sharp, as Python do not support true multithreading. Okay, the fix speed was done, so then I had to implement the live chart view. It was quite easy, as I did it already for MetaTrader 4, so it was only like 1-2 hours of work, and we ended up with something like this. As you can see, we got three charts with live data, one with MP4, second one with peaks, and the bottom one with both. I can also open and close trades in MetaTrader 4, so in theory, I got all the ingredients to make the latency arbitrage to work. On current stage, I can close all the Trello tasks and I can say that this mini sprint for the project is complete. So what's next? First of all, I do not like the design and the architecture of the software as it is very messy and I was focused mainly on making all the components work and not on the quality of code. So I have to redesign the WinForm, create a place to fill all the user credentials for MetaTrader 4 and the Pix, create a drop-down list with all the available assets and of course implement the logic to open and close the trades based on the differences between fast and slow broker feed. It would be also nice to have another chart that will show only the differences between the peaks in real time, so I will end up with four threads. One, of course, for the win for management, second and the third for the data feeds, and the last one for opening and closing the trades. I am very excited about this project and I can't wait when I will finally turn it on and see actually the performance of this software. Anyway guys, thank you for staying with me till the end of this video. Let me know in the comments if you think this software will work or not, what are your thoughts about this. And if you are new, subscribe, check out my other videos. Anyway, see you soon on the next Monday.